A blanket of smoke covering the town of Jasper as a wildfire on Chediman Mountain rages on through the forest. Locals residing in the nearby municipality are safe from the blaze, but have been heavily impacted by the disaster's effect on their power grid, according to one local business manager. ATCO has hooked up generators for the town, um, but it won't be like permanent power, it will be generators. So we're asked to really conserve our, our power and only use the essentials just so that we don't experience kind of a rolling blackout until it's permanently solved. Many businesses, like the one she runs, close their doors indefinitely upon learning of the wildfire, others operating on a cash-only basis with lack of access to internet services. The senior center making the call to evacuate the city to Hinton to avoid any interruptions to their services their tenants rely on for their care. As the hours without power turn into days, the challenges get tougher, especially for families preserving what's left of their food. At this point, I'll have to clean out my fridge. I think that's the biggest thing is a lot of people are losing the food in their fridge and freezer um, going this many hours into a power outage. So uh, we're trying to really keep our fridges and freezers shut, um, not to open them the best we can just to keep the, um, you know, fridge can keep things cool for 24 to 36 hours if it's not repeatedly open. Soroka says the timing of the fire with cooler wetter conditions brings relief, but packs a painful punch for the economy. I think um, all these things together just allow the event to kind of play out in a way that wasn't terrible. But again, going into the last long weekend, of the summer, Jasper is going to slow down a lot come October. A timeline for when the city's primary power grid will be operational is unclear. Residents of Jasper are not expecting evacuation orders. In Edmonton, Elliot Canop City News.